What is the big difference between thorium and regular nuclear reactors? Is thorium the future of energy? We are about to find out. Thorium is a naturally occurring radioactive element found in plentiful supply. Unlike uranium, thorium is more abundant and has some intriguing properties that make it appealing for nuclear energy. Uranium-235, the primary fuel for today's reactors, is fissile, meaning it can sustain a chain reaction on its own. Thorium, however, isn't fissile, it's fertile. To turn thorium into a fuel, it needs to be converted into a fissile material called uranium-233 through a process called breeding. Thorium reactors or molten salt reactors offer some compelling benefits. They produce less long-lived radioactive waste, have a lower risk of meltdown, and can be shut down passively. But more on that later on, they use a fuel that's three to four times more abundant than uranium. Plus, thorium isn't directly fissile. There's a reduced risk of weaponization. Despite the advantages, there are still challenges. Thorium reactors require complex and costly technology to convert thorium into uranium-233, and there's limited infrastructure for large-scale production. However, countries like China and India are investing in research. They're trying to bring this technology to commercial use. Molten salt reactors are especially suited for thorium because the liquid salt helps to stabilize the reactor, preventing meltdowns and enabling efficient heat transfer. This design also allows for continuous fueling, meaning you can add thorium while the reactor is running. We are about to learn how does a thorium reactor actually work, but I'm saving the crazy part till the end of the video. In a typical thorium reactor setup, thorium-232 is bombarded with neutrons, converting it into uranium-233, a fissile material that then sustains the nuclear chain reaction producing heat which generates electricity this process occurs in the molten salt reactor mentioned earlier where the thorium is dissolved in a hot liquid salt mixture allowing it to act both as a fuel and a coolant it is almost time for the big reveal. MSRs run at much lower pressures than the current reactors. High pressure in traditional reactors can lead to dangerous situations if a rupture occurs, but MSRs avoid this entirely. In traditional reactors, if the solid uranium fuel rods get too hot, they can melt, causing a catastrophic failure. Because molten salt reactors use liquid fuel and run at much lower pressures, they avoid the risk of a meltdown. But the main safety feature is the freeze plug a small section of salt at the bottom of the reactor kept solid by a cooling system. If the reactor overheats or loses power, the freeze plug melts, allowing the molten salt to drain into a safety tank where it cools and naturally solidifies, stopping the reaction, all without power or human intervention.